Earlier this week, I was crying every single day. I had gotten into a huge argument with my parents and had nightmares daily. And so, something I thought to myself was, you know who's gonna give you everything? Yourself, Diane von Furstenberg. Growing up, it would have been really powerful imagery for me to see a young woman of color like myself at 26 treating herself like the queen that she is. I think so often I forget to honor and celebrate all that I've done and all that I am that it takes a moment for me to realize that I need a break. So I decided to pack my bag and go down the street literally to one of my favorite dream hotels and have a staycation. Also a huge thank you to Lord Jones for sponsoring this video. This partnership is definitely what allowed me to even have this idea and to treat myself big time. moment upon check-in with concierge he was like oh i see it says marked a special occasion miss lee what occasion are we celebrating and i go oh uh myself i literally live down the street and i just wanted to celebrate myself and you know self love <laughs> and he's like oh i love that miss lee and i'm like yeah <laughs> and i feel so awkward and embarrassed but seriously we need to normalize treating ourselves like the queens that we are from home As soon as I got up, which was around like 7 or 8, I just brushed my teeth and I put on my workout clothes and I went to go get an iced oat milk latte and just go exercise and play on the beach. I think I like the beach so much because it has this ability to make you feel so small or the ocean has this ability to make you feel so small like truly a speck in the universe and that life is so vast and I like that the human body is not really there to be celebrated for its sexuality or even its sensuality but really for its naked bare essence like the beach is the one place where you truly don't have to wear makeup or cool clothes or cool shoes or anything you just have have to be there and be yourself and be liberated and if you haven't tried air guitaring on the shoreline you're really missing out i'm sure you're probably already tired of me talking about how much i like baths but if you are a bath enthusiast, you need these bath salts. They're CBD infused. I only usually need one scoop, but for some reason, I think for the sake of the video, I did two scoops and you'll see what this did to me later. Also, taking a luxurious CBD infused bath overlooking Santa Monica whilst reading your favorite spiritual book at the moment. Queen shit. And I don't wanna go back to being all gonna lie when I say that this entire skincare routine that I did this day was pure luxury because I think there's only been a handful of times I've been able to do all of these steps in one go but today I'm using the Lord Jones acid mantle repair CBD moisturizer and what I really like about this moisturizer is that it supports the skin's acid mantle and if you're not familiar with the skin's acid mantle it's basically just a film that acts as a barrier against bacteria and other environmental conditions contaminants so when you over exfoliate or use really acidic products it can really damage the acid mantle so this formula has a five ceramide complex that works perfectly with a full spectrum hemp derived CBD extract and sunflower seed oil to just rebalance the skin I also suffer from teeth clenching and just or jaw clenching and teeth grinding when I'm anxious or stressed out in my sleep so something I've been trying to do in my skincare routine and it's perfect with the CBD moisturizer is massage my masseter muscle just because it helps to really just um, make it feel better. I feel like I'm doing it right now and it's just so tight. Alone. Next 
Next, I'm using probably my favorite of the two products shown here, and that's the Lord Jones Royal Oil. I love face oils because I had acne for about a decade, and I also have combination skin. So this super powered facial oil has only two clean ingredients. Isn't that nuts? Broad spectrum hemp derived CBD extract and pure grapeseed oil. I just put a few drops in my hands and then pat it into my skin after I use the moisturizer, and it has the highest concentration of CBD in all of the Lord Jones products selection. So my skin feels not only very hydrated, but also very soothed and kind of calm after it. I don't normally do this part of my skincare routine, but on staycation I did. I was really excited to try the Laura Jones CBD body lotion because I heard it had gained a cult following from celebrity stylists who would apply it to their client's feet before wearing high heels on the red carpet and it would just feel as though they were walking on air. And I meditated for about like 20 minutes after all of the skincare stuff and my bath and I ended up falling asleep for two hours that's how relaxed and just calm i was and i w woke up to a dead camera i had to charge the battery it was really funny but yes if you would like to check out laura jones and any of their products i have a link down below so be sure to check that out and in my opinion i think laura jones makes the highest best quality cbd products i think just nothing else compares and that's truly my own opinion they're not paying me to say that <laughs> Then I finally decided to get ready and put some pants on. Now, if you don't have pants that make you feel like a rock star when you instantly put them on, you're missing out. I went to the rooftop restaurant, which is right by the rooftop pool, and it was a super gloomy day, but it was really beautiful up there. And ever since my mom said growing up that she would never go eat alone at a restaurant because that's what losers do, I made it a point to always eat at restaurants alone whenever I I could because one I love food and I love freshly made food that's served to you and secondly I just don't identify with that I think there's something very intimate and special and very awesome about being able to eat alone at a really nice restaurant I think that um, food tastes better actually because I'm an introvert and I don't really like having to speak to people and I don't bring a book I don't bring I don't go on my phone I just like being very mindful with each bites and being very present and that's something I normally struggle with. I eat my food really fast but when I'm at a restaurant I really get to soak all in the experience. Also I had a kale salmon bowl with avocado and sweet potato and then these fries with house-made jalapeno aioli that was just absolutely divine. I feel like I ate a good majority of this massive bowl of fries but it was like not even a dent <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes I know shocker. Normally, I try to stay away from my phone when I'm on vacation of any sort, but because it was already two or three at this point and it was such a gloomy day and really cold, I just decided to hop back into bed and scroll on social media for about an hour. I think turning off my notifications for all apps and going on do not disturb mode all the time, as well as deleting my apps every so often has really helped my technology use and has also positively impacted my mental health. So I just really encourage everyone and anyone to log off a little bit more, especially during such a chaotic time in history. I'm not used to be high every time. I actually had a lot of work to do, so before I got started, I pulled out a card just to kind of set my intention, and it was all is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. And a lot of you liked that I pulled a card for you in the last video, so I decided to do that again, and it says, I am ready to go big, rise up, and step into my power. So then I just ended up working all the way into the night. I had a lot of uh, deadlines due and just a lot of catching up on emails as well as scheduling. I know that this is probably a part of my YouTube channel. I don't show a lot, like self-care doesn't really require me to 
be on the computer for three or four hours, but that's what I did during this staycation. I took off my makeup and my skincare routine pretty early on because I wasn't going anywhere and also didn't want to be wearing any makeup for one of the activities I was going to do later in the night. Maybe also broken and I was really cold so I put on a pajama shirt over my pajama dress a shrimp burrito with guac and chips for dinner and I just did that as I got ready I actually had to eat this pretty fast because um, the delivery guy came really late and I was a little bit hesitant to share this on my YouTube channel but I decided that whoever is open-minded enough to kind of just research and uh, dive a little deeper you're totally welcome to but I went to a family consolation workshop for the rest of the night it was about four hours and anytime I sign up for one of these things I'm always like wow four hours is a lot of time but when I'm in them it just goes by so fast this is how I know that spirit really exists and that we truly are spiritual beings having a human experience i just googled what is family constellation work just to give you a little brief understanding family constellations is a therapeutic approach designed to help reveal the hidden dynamics in a family or relationship in order to address any stressors impacting these relationships and heal them and if you want to know more i definitely recommend it um but i mainly went for in this workshop to hold space and I always feel a shift in consciousness and always leave feeling extremely spooked and um, this one was no different. I actually went with my friend Andrea who is a breathwork uh, facilitator and it was crazy because we had gone to one of these in person about a year ago and it's work that I believe is super powerful and very healing and is kind of like an alternative approach to traditional therapy and yes, I so if you're interested in learning more, I definitely recommend it. We had a very spiritual experience, that's all I can say. Um, also, a lot of this footage is a reenactment of what happened because I didn't want to mess with the energy field and just all that was going on. So after the workshop, typically you're told to just take it really easy and, and I usually just try to journal as soon as we're done just so I can remember a lot of things and I realized that I was dealing with a lot of imposter syndrome and feeling very guilty and almost ashamed at being there the longer the day progressed and so right after we got out of the family consolation therapy I decided to kind of unpack that a little more and I wrote a small little blurb that I decided to share with you and um I don't know let's I don't know so I wrote I'm at the proper Santa Monica Hotel. Part of me feels so guilty for doing things for myself that it's wasteful and I'm not deserving and how much more practical I should be. It's taking a lot of rewiring to undo the part of my brain that says I'm undeserving. Will people on the internet say I'm undeserving? Of course, but as we saw, we are all living out our realities, projecting onto others, filtered through the lens of our traumas. The internet's perception of me is not the real me. It's just that. 
merely a perception, and I'm okay with that. I am deserving of this experience and opportunity, though I might not feel like it. However, one thing I do know I felt sitting up there eating the most delicious salmon bowl and fries on the rooftop alone was pure happiness. I could have cried because how did this happen? I'm constantly overwhelmed by emotion and the universe's gifts. Early morning in the spring. Eventually, Raynalyn came over because, as you know, she is my soul sister, and also she's part of the team of Vagabond Youth, along with my graphic designer Daisy. She came over with my favorite boba order, which is 30% sweet, extra ice, and less boba. And she also brought my queen, Comey. And Comey's never been in a hotel room, so this was really funny to see. She looks so adorable, and I was so excited to see her, even though it had only been a day. And Raina Lynn came over not only to just catch up and bring Comey to me because she was watching her, but also because we had a lot of work to do the next day and we also wanted to shoot at the hotel. Me and Raina Lynn always have such enthralling talks. I they're always unforgettable for me and we just connect on a whole other level than just the physical realm. And it was so cute waking up to Comey and Raynalyn in the morning. We grabbed some coffee, grabbed my favorite donut, sidecar donuts, and then we got to work. And that was pretty much the perfect end to my staycation. I want to say thank you so much to Laura Jones for partnering with me on this video. I just hope that this served as a good reminder for you to keep treating yourself like the queen or non-binary queen that you are. And I'm sending you so much love from this computer screen to yours. Bye! Bye!